Hello kitties! Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Kira. I'm better known as Afro Kitty on social media. And for those of you who are new to my channel, I am an artist that loves to talk about dolls, cartoons, TV shows, movies, and the occasional anime. And in this video, I'm giving you yet another Monster High doll update. Now, I'm going to talk about three collections and one singular doll. And those are the Spectre doll. We have more, I think it's stock pictures, like clear ones. We also have this two-pack collection of Laguna and Claudine. It's kind of like uh, after-school activities, and it's like a playset, a playset as well. Um, the other two collections that I'm going to talk about is the Fear Book collection. This one includes Twyla, Toralai, and Draculaura. And lastly, we have another Skullmate Secrets called Monster Mis- uh, called Monster Mysteries, and in this collection we have Abby, Cleo, Draculaura, and Claudine. As always, I have my tablet here with me, and I'll be including the pictures on this side of the screen or on this side of the screen, and without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay, so the first doll that I want to talk about in this video is going to be the Spectre doll. We have clearer pictures of her, and I have to say, she's not one of my favorites, and I also don't like her character, but I have to watch the series in order to fully figure out how her character is, if she's still somewhat similar to her G1 counterpart, counterpart where she's very uh, chismosa. And I do love me some chisme, but I don't want to be a chismosa like that, girl. Like, she be taking pictures of people and shit and being messy. Girl, we're not about that life. But I'm not sure how she is in the G3 format. I'm not sure her, how her character is. So I want to watch the series in order to like figure out her personality and if I like her or don't. But so far, I do love her face. Her face is really pretty. She has a more defined bone structure. I love that. Uh, I'm not a big fan of the colors because everything's purple and it seems to really... You can't really see the details on her outfit. The most you can see is the poofiness of the sleeves and the extra layer that she has of a, a long skirt. It's cute. It's kind of like a cape. It's cute, but I wish that they had different color tones so you can really see see them more. more. So she has silver chains on her waist and on her shoulders cute and for shoes she has very similar shoes to her counterpart um with the very big ass i don't know how you call that i was gonna call it a bell but it's not a bell it's kind of like a chain the end of the chain uh for the heel and uh yeah um very simple doll i think out of everyone that i've seen so far like venus or caddy she has the most simplest outfit design for me and it makes it worse when you see the colors and it, they're all just purple, you know? And I'm not saying that it could be, like, pink. No, because we know that Spectra's character and her color scheme is... <laughs> her character is all purple, and I wish that they had a different ranges of purple, like maybe darker, a dark purple, indigo, maybe even blue. Something that would just be in the cooler tone spectrum so it could stand out to me. Uh, but that's it. I do like her face. I like her hair. She has for accessories, uh, I don't know how you call that. It, it's, it's not a necklace. It's like a headpiece. It's also silver. Really cute. And for earrings, I think she has lockets. Not bad. I, I, I just don't like her. That's fine. I don't, I don't like her, her outfit, but I do love the doll. Like, separate the outfit from the doll. She's fantastic. She looks great. I like her face. I like how defined her eyebrows are, which is something that I haven't seen with uh, the other dolls. If I'm, if I can recall, like, I don't think the other dolls have a more defined eyebrow. Like, it looks like they really, like, <laughs> detailed the eyebrows to me. Um, for accessories, she has hot sauce or barbecue sauce. She has ghost nuggets, a drink, her backpack, a tablet, a phone sunglasses and her pet ferret now i'm not sure what the pet ferret's called um i will add it in the screen but i don't recall remembering the name of the ferret the ferret looks a little funny to, to me i don't know the eyes are funny to me but i do like the tail and how it looks like it's like a wind the gust of wind you know but the face is just the face is funny to me definitely so funny to me 
Uh, the backpack that she has is shaped of a ghost and in the middle there's a front pocket that says boo. That's cute. And it's also see-through. Like most of the things most of the things that she has are see-through and apparently her phone glows in the dark cuz I don't know uh, the image that I see I'll have it here. It looks like it's shining but I'm not sure if it's just edited to make it look like that or if it actually glows in the dark. If they do that, that's really cool. And her sunglasses are very early 2000s or like 2012, very chunky, thick and on the top of the the glasses there's chains around. I think it's cool. I'm still very upset because at least out of the other three dolls that we've seen so far, like Venus and Caddy, her outfit is very simple and the color's very simple. And I wish they could have just gone a little bit more when it came to the details on the outfit. But overall, I think the doll is really cute. She's not my favorite, um, but let's see how she is in the TV series because I, I really have to watch it, the show. Now, the next thing that we're going to talk about is the two-pack of Laguna and Claudine. Now, this whole like two pack and slash play set it's called after ghoul activities it's really cute i really really love the vending machine that is included in this play set it's so freaking cool it looks amazing i want that that stuff i did not even notice it i i saw the dolls and i was like ah whatever but when i took a good look at the play set and what are the accessories that are included i love that vending machine so cute and it's also pastel which is a little strange considering the color schemes but uh you know um i think this uh, g3 is more of a pastel color more brighter colors rather than the rather than the dark and gloomy um colors that we had for g1 but i really do love that vending machine it's coffin shaped it's a teal a teal green for the door frame and on the inside, we have drinks like Gatorade, gummy worms. But, you know, in monster terms, they're called something else. But it's really cool. I think that's really, really cool. There's also kind of like a video game playset as well. Um, I'm not sure if it's like basketball. Eh, I'm not a big fan of that one. I could not give a shit about that one. It includes three balls, and it is basketball. Eh, it's, it's okay. Um, I don't care about the dolls either, so yeah laguna has a swimsuit so she's in the swim team and then claudine seems to be more into sports of basketball i think it's okay not my favorite they also include duffel bags as well and some towels and one of those um hand um things that people use when they're going to the sports i don't i don't know what you call that but my favorite item from this whole collection this whole collection has to be that vending machine that's amazing I would love to have it, I would love to own it, but it also includes the rest of the things and I could not give a shit about that. So the next thing that I want to talk about is regarding the Fear Book collection of Monster High. So we have Draculaura, Torolai, and Twyla. Now let's start off with Draculaura. I like Draculaura. I think she's in the um, drama club or movie making club. I think that's what is the right description, at least in the doll description. So for accessories, she has a script, she has a clapboard, she has a tripod with a ring light, and she has a megaphone, her phone, um, a coffin, and I think the coffin is just like an accessory or a prop, and she has her fear book, little paper, I guess. Um, she also includes a jacket with the drama symbol on this area. It's so cute. So, so, so cute. Now, in regards to the doll, I think she looks really pretty. I like her beret. I like the details on the jacket. I love how it has bat wings or the shape of bat wings on this side. Really pretty. I like the dress. It's a two-piece, actually, with the same materials. And I actually like the ruffledness of the skirt and how there's a bow on the side and it's giving me coquette so i'm pretty sure a lot of people are gonna love this doll now i think the only thing that i don't like about this particular collection is the shoes because the shoes are very bright colors that it makes it hard for you to really notice the outfit and appreciate the outfit more and i think these shoes are kind of like very simple and the colors are very toned down to the point where you can actually appreciate the outfit on Draculaura. But when it comes to Torali or Twyla, like, it's really hard to miss the shoes, okay? The shoes are just in your face, right? But I really believe that if they could have 
gotten the extra mile to add more details on the shoes, I think it would go a long way with the doll. Um, I don't hate the, the shape of the shoes or the mold of the shoes. I just hate how simple it looks in comparison to the outfits and even the accessories that is included with this doll. I just don't like how simplified it is. And I feel like as an artist or just a, a, any doll collector, you, I think you have to go to the extra mile to really put in the details on the doll in order to appreciate it more or to love the doll more because this collection is really pretty, but again, the shoes are the bigger issue of the collection. Now, the next doll that I want to talk about is Torelai. Now, Torelai seems to be in the band club or in the choir. I think she looks really, really pretty. For accessories, she has a, a microphone, she has a tambourine, she has her guitar, the Fear Book book, a jacket and there's like a paper a musical note sheet i'm sure that's how you call it um i will correct myself in the in the screen just in case and i love this doll i like the fact that she has a shorter hairstyle she has a blob she's giving blob and she has purple streaks on the front of her bob I think she looks great. She's giving me 80s, 90s with her outfit. Um, you know I'm not a big fan of animal print, but I think she looks great in this one. I don't hate it. And I don't hate it on the guitar either. I really like the guitar. I like the color and I like how detailed it is as well. And it's really cool that the stock pictures include one where Torelai is having the tambourine on her tail. That's really cool. I mean, you know, she is... A very versatile queen mm -hmm, mm -hmm. now again like I mentioned with Draculaura the shoes are very um, in your face especially with Torelai and Twyla so with Torelai her shoes are purple or like a very a purple going to magenta I would say and I'm not a big fan of it I wish that again there would be more details put on the shoe so it doesn't look too blinding but overall, I think the doll is really cute. I love this. I love this so much. Now, lastly, we're going to head over with Twyla. And Twyla is one of my favorites out of this collection. I mean, I love everyone. I would, If I had all the money in the world, I would get all of them. But I think for this case, I got to have Twyla. Now, with Twyla, I, I think she looks really, really cute. I like the extra ruffles on the skirt. I like how simple it is, but it looks really pretty on her. Uh, she looks really cute. I, I'm not a big fan of the jacket, but I like it. I don't I don't hate it. Now, it looks like she's in a game club because of the board game and the play sets. Um, I'm not sure what game. I'm thinking of a game because I have friends who play this particular game where they have a lot of those, uh, kind of like those dices. So, I forgot the name right now. But it's very similar to that. So, yeah, she has that. And for another accessory, she has cookies and another box of cookies, I guess and yeah i think she's really cute and again her shoes are very blinding they're very bright and i wish there were a darker color as to just not really take the whole attention from the doll um but i really like this i think she's really pretty i think she's one of the prettiest ones out of all the three twilas that we had but i don't know i think she's really cute and i think that's all i have to say regarding this particular collection i love all of them i just wish that the shoes were um less bright so the next collection that we're going to talk about is regarding the Skullmate Secrets uh, collection. Now, I thought this was ballerinas, but apparently it's pop stars. So, okay. Now, this particular Skullmate Secrets is called Monster Mysteries. And yeah, like I gave you the theme, it's pop stars, not ballerina. And we have Cleo, Draculaura, Claudine, and Abby. Now, finally, we have a second Abby doll. I wish that we get to see more of the other dolls as... We go along because I'm, I'm not saying this as a hatred towards the main five girlies, but I really want to see the other ones like Twyla, more Torlai, more Gulia. Like I want to see more of them and even, even more Spectra, even if I don't like her. Let's just see more of them, okay? Let's give them chances. So I'm really happy that they included Abby in this collection. Now I first wanted to start talking about her because I really love her face. Her makeup is really pretty and I like how cool she looks. Like she's giving me Ice Princess. Really, really cute. I'm not a big fan of the the closet. I think my favorite closet, color-wise, I think it's Claudine's. But the other three, eh, I'm not a big fan of them. But I really like her outfit. They all have tutus and a corset in the front. They, they're very detailed. And they also include um, a duffel bag, the keys, extra shoes, and an extra outfit. Now, the extra outfit is more of like... Um, the one you use for dance practice and stuff like that. So they're more simplified. 
and matching with their color scheme so with Abby, for example, it's blue and purple, and with Cleo, it's yellow or blue, Draculaura is fully pink or black, and then Claudine is gold and purple. And I think Abby looks great. I like her makeup. I love it. She's so cute. I'm not a big fan of this collection per se because of like the amount of accessories that it has, but I really appreciate that they gave chance to another doll, and I'm glad that they have an, a secondary Abby doll. So she looks cute giving me ice princess she also has some white gloves with snowflakes cute 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 but i think that's all i have to say regarding this i think she's cute i don't not a, i'm not a big fan of the shoes though the shoes can go out i don't like the shoes at all but they're cute she's, she's also giving me britney spears for some reason i don't know what it is but it's giving me britney spears so the next doll that I'm going to talk about is cleo now cleo is one of my favorites as well i like that her tutu is very like big and poofy i wish that the other ones had a poofier tutu as well but i like her she's cute she's giving me more dancer than pop star but you know a pop star can also be a dancer you know they're very versatile when it comes to performing so i think it's cute she also has a bag a uh, drink and an, an extra accessory such as the clothes an extra pair of clothes and the shoes now the shoes are very ballerina-esque that's why i kind of thought it was a ballerina but no that's not the case and yeah i don't have a lot to say about cleo i think she looks cute i like the headset it's completely gold i like the corset it's also gold with a beetle in the front it's cute it's cute 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 but i feel like eh, i could eh, i could not care that much not saying that they're ugly, I just, eh, the extra accessories, I could not give a shit about it. The next doll that we're going to talk about is Draculaura, and I think Draculaura is my least favorite from this collection. I don't know what it is about this Draculaura, but it's not given. I don't, I don't know what it is. It's just not, not pretty. Um, the, the headset is cute. I do like her duffel bag, or her bag. It's all, it's a heart shape. Cute. Her tutu is not giving. Her tutu is just not even a tutu, babes. Mm -mm -mm. I don't like her shoes because they kind of blend in with her skin. Um, her gloves also blend in with her skin um, because of the color scheme. She's fully purple. Okay, pause. I don't know why I said purple. I meant pink. Girl, what the hell was I thinking? I meant pink. Okay, let's proceed. So, yeah. Um, I do like the secondary outfit mainly because it has more black than pink. But I think that's it. Eh. Now, the, the last doll that we're going to talk about is Claudine, and I really gotta say, I like this Claudine. She's not bad. I like her, and I like her uh, I like her closet. I like how the colors match. I, I like this closet better than the other ones. Um, I like that she has micro braids. Cute. I like her face as well. I like her makeup. I like the headset as well. Oh my god, what is that? Oh my god! What is that? Um, I don't like the shoes, though. Or the tutu, for that matter. She doesn't even got a tutu. She just got little ruffles on the side, and she's wearing short pants. What happened there? But that's it. I like the doll. The doll is cute. I could say that from every... From this collection, the dolls are really pretty, but the outfits are not that good for me. And that's it. That's it. I don't got nothing else to say. It's also really cool that... Cleo's swimsuit um, leotard has her name on it in the front. That's cute. But I don't have anything else to say about this collection. I think it's cute overall. Um, my favorites are Abby, Cleo, and Claudine, all in that order. I think Abby really did a good job. She Well, not the designers did a really good job with Abby. And I think she's really pretty. She did, she's really, really pretty. She's giving Ice Princess pop star. She, has, she is the moment. She's really cute. Everybody else? Eh. I like Cleo because of her her tutu, aka her skirt, is really puffy. But Draculaura, she she gives me pop star, but more like a back background background pop star dancer kind of thing. And I like Claudine's makeup. I like her doll. It's pretty. So that's all I have to say for this regular video. Um, let me know what you think in the comment section below. Which one is your favorite from each collection that I mentioned? Um, I'm not a big fan of Spectra. Uh, I think her outfit is really simple for monster high standards i guess 
Um, when it comes to the two pack of Laguna and Claudine, I really love that vending machine. I really didn't give that much attention to the dolls. I think they're very simple, so yeah. Um, regarding the Fear Book collection, I loved all of them. But if I really have to get one, I would definitely get Twyla or Torlai. Um, I do like Draculaura. She's really pretty. But I, you know, maybe as the year, maybe as the months go by, and if I can buy them at one at a time, I will definitely do that because I think this collection is really, really pretty. Um, the shoes, again, they could they could do some fixing because girl, they're too bright. And lastly, with the Monster Mysteries Skullmate Secrets doll. I have to say, again, Abby is my number one. Cleo, I love Cleo and Claudine. Probably equally, and Draculaura is just not my favorite, but I guess it's because all of her color scheme seems to blend in with her, and I think because Abby is not one of those dolls that we see repeatedly, I think it, it fits well with Abby because Abby's outfit also has blue all together, but I think it just meshes well with Abby instead of Draculaura. I hope that makes sense. And yeah, um, that is it for this video. Make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Make sure to click on the notification bell to get notified of new videos. And I will see you in the next one. Bye!